<laughs> get the shots out. Aston Villa 2, Arsenal nil. Match reaction. Big up everybody in the <laughs> chat. Uh, um, big up man. Wow, that one actually hit pretty hard. Ugh. Unai kicked out of Arsenal because he couldn't <laughs> speak proper English, but he can coach a fucking football team. Whatever. Yeah, I, I, I don't really have much to say that hasn't already been said, but we're going to get into it. Um, big up. It. Big up to everybody that's going to be watching this. If you're watching this on Twitter, uh, make sure you come over to the YouTube and yeah. hit a subscribe. Um, know a lot of the ops are going to come, be coming in here and dancing on our graves, um, and that's totally fine. But big up everybody while you're here. Make sure you're smashing the likes. It's going to get loud in here. Um, yeah, I'll ch I'll chime in as I can. I just got off of the off of a watch along that literally um, took the life out of me. So I'm just going to chill for a minute. Uh, and I'm going to give it over to, to my cohorts, Dal and Connor. We'll go ahead and start with Connor. Connor, give us your, your preliminary thoughts on the game and we'll get into it, man. I just, I'm embarrassed and, uh, extremely disappointed. Uh, you know, our, the ex-girlfriend cheated on us. The girlfriend cheated on us again, but we keep going back to her. What do you think? First off, I thought we were great. Um, apart from obviously that near chance of Watkins, but first half we were great. We gave Villa nothing and no shots on the goal. We were in complete control. We just couldn't seem to get a shot off. And um, to say that as soon as I saw the lineup, I knew we were going to have problems. Why Zinchenko was starting, I don't know. I thought, listen, people criticised Kivior against Bayern Munich. I didn't think he was that bad. I thought he would have still been fine to play today, personally. Uh, but he didn't. Uh, we still got Tommy Asu. He decided to play that bum. Um, I didn't normally call him Bart Simpson because I thought it was a bit insulting, but I'll happily say it now. C Tech Bart Simpson. <laughs> he's not the only one. He's not the only one. Um, Gabriel. The Bozo jeans returned, man. Done it against Bayern. I let him off. I said, Do you know what? He'll be on it. And I said, Didn't I say it on, on Friday? I said it to you two. I said, Gabriel and Saliba will want revenge for their mistake. Well, Gabriel didn't. No way. Um, he let us down. He was easily the one of the worst players today, alongside Zinchenko. Um, why have you put Havertz in the midfield? What went through your brain to make you think, do you know what? I'm going to take the player that I've made so well. Oh, no. And do you know what? And I did. I gave praise to Mikel Arteta for saying, do you know what? You've actually got something out of Kai Havertz here. Second top goal scorer at Arsenal nearly on double digits, getting some assists in the centre-forward role. What went through his head to say, do you know what? Screw that. I'm going to go ahead and put him back in midfield where he was shit. And that's what you get. Shit. Don't get me wrong. He was getting forward a bit. He was trying. And I don't think Havertz was the worst player on the pitch. But he's nowhere near effective with that bum at striker instead. Who we've all said... Can't play at striker. The best place to play him is either on the wing. I'm talking about Gabriel Jesus. I never, I never <clears> want to see Gabriel Jesus or Alexander Zinchenko wear an Arsenal shirt ever again. I don't care if, if I don't even care if Jesus has scored goals for Arsenal. I don't care if Zinchenko is one of the reasons we were in a title race last season. I'm talking about this season. Jesus is a waste of space. Zinchenko is a waste of space. There was Tr Trossard was defending for this guy at one point. What is going on? And why, oh why, in that second half did we come out like we were playing against a, like a Real Madrid? And don't get me wrong, hats off to Aston Villa. I want to make that very clear. Hats off to Unai Emery because they had a game plan and that game plan worked. They came to sit back and counterattack, which is exactly what Bayern Munich done against us. <laughs> we didn't learn, did we? We had our opportunities. We didn't take them. Um, 
And this is what happens, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, Arsenal fans. Um, I know there'll be some rivals in here probably laughing on our graves, and it's all right. It's cool. You know, it's been coming. I know everyone's been sitting on their chairs waiting. Well, let's wait for Arsenal to fuck up. And uh, that the last monetization gone, TJ. I'm so sorry. No, oh, dude, um, this, this thing's over. And Dow, I, I just see the look in Dow's eyes. Dow, I'll, I'll just say, Dow, I'll just, I'll just uh, put that one on on credit for you, this one on credit for you. The five dollars that I would have made off this show, um, we'll just. We'll just go ahead and put it on credit. Yeah, I think. Listen, to, to wrap up, I know, I know Dow's gonna let loose. I'm probably gonna have to turn down. My, I might have to turn down my speakers in a minute because I know Dow's gonna let loose, which he actually had, which he absolutely has the right to. Uh, but listen, Arsenal fans, this is what happens. Yeah, what's up, Warren? I'd be well, buddy. Hi, Warren. Uh, you drew to Bournemouth. I don't give a shit. Um, <laughs> so listen, at the end of the day, this is what happens, to Arsenal fans, when you get excited. Because I did, I did. I said we were going to win this game. I said two nil. And in that first half, we could have done that. Exactly what we did against Bayern Munich. Um, but the team let us down once again. Uh, this, ha- this happened last season. And we've done it again this season. And listen, people... Are, and, I, and I already know... And I'm not even going to name the people. But I already know the people that would be like, oh, it's one game. We saw the rest of the season to play. The season's over. There is no way that Arsenal are going to go on a run now of unbeaten wins... And and City are gonna drop points. There's no way. Liverpool, they're they're trash as it is. They're trash. They're shit. They're trash as it is. I don't care what anyone tells me. They're shit. But so are we. We're, we've now shown our, our our inconsistencies again, and we've shown that we've shown that we can be shit again. So it's off to Man City. It's on Man City's hands now. And we all know what Man City can do. They run off with it, and they go ahead and get the title as they usually do. Um, listen. To wrap up on my quick thoughts, um, I wasn't gonna blame Arteta, but now I am. Because he changed the four mate, the lineup, which he shouldn't have done. Jorginho should have been in the team. Havertz should have been up front. Kivio or Tommy Asu should have been at fullback. Whether that changed things, I don't know. But the way the team worked today shouldn't have worked. And Martinelli should have been on the wing. Because I can now tell you, and I love Trossard, and Trossard will 100% be on my books next season. But he is not a starting 11 player. He is an impact sub. It's as simple as that. He cannot play a full 90 of football. Because it just, I don't know what it is with him, but it just doesn't work. He has to come off the bench. I don't know why it is, it just does. So Mikel Arteta let us down today. Not all of the players, but majority of them let us down today. And I'm not going to be angry. I'm not going to be mad. I'm just disappointed because, once again, Arsenal have shown us why we can't be excited about the future of our club because it happens again and again and again. That's me. That's me. I'm going to turn down down my speech now. (laughs) <laughs> no, but yeah, big up, big up, Connor, big up everybody in the chat, big up everybody uh, here to dance on our graves, do the Macarena, um, do the camel walk, do everything uh, that you want to do. Jazz is losing his mind. Everybody's going to lose their mind and we're just going to go ahead and cue it up. Dal, are you ready to uh, speak on the game real quick? And then I'll yeah, go. I think so. I had some time to cool down in the back room while we were talking a little bit, but um, yeah, what a second half performance of absolute dog shit that was. Fans were leaving in the 68th minute. You could see that nothing was happening. Fans leaving in the 75th minute as well. People started oozing out, and then the goals came. Leon Bailey, I mean, dude, fucking Zinchenko. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and, and, you know, and Gabriel, and, you know, Gabriel today, I got to say, this was one of the worst games Gabriel's been in center back in the last, oh, I don't know, eight months. I mean, all of a sudden, he's now an attacking midfielder. I mean, get back. He was ball watching for both yep. goals, just ball watching. And they're leaving it up to Zinchenko to run back. Zinchenko couldn't even catch his own dog if it was locked in his backyard. I, the, the the combination play in the second half by Aston Villa absolutely fucking blew us away. We had no answers. Rice, ball watching, caught dead in the middle of the pitch. Yep. Um, Havertz, not knowing if he's a midfielder or forward or a left back anymore. Um you know, Emerald Smith Rowe, last man back on the goal, on the on Watkins goal. Where was Gabrielle? Where was Saliba? Why is Emerald Smith Rowe the last man back? And why the hell is Zinchenko even on the bus? I mean, it's just the proof is in the pudding. We've seen it over and over. You will nothing with Zinchenko in the lineup. Nothing. The run we went on with 31 goals and four conceded bullshit, that's long gone history now. You know, and who was missing out of that run? Zinchenko. And we bring him back and look what happens. 
he can't defend. He doesn't know where to be on the pitch. He's not a midfielder. He's not a left back. He's a fucking wind dog walker. I mean, it's just, he's, it's playing out there with 10 men from the get-go, guys. That's the thing. We're basically coming out there one man short when he's in the fucking lineup every time. He's the catalyst for every problem that happens in every game that we lose or draw in. The one factor is him. It's always him. It was Kai Havers the first six six weeks. You know, he goes through a purple patch. King Kai, King Kai. He can't shoot a ball. He has to dribble it. If the ball bounces, that gives you leverage to put your laces through the fucking thing. In the first half, he should have had two goals. Troussard. You could have put a fucking jumbo jet in the goal on the left side. And he puts it at the keeper's feet. I mean, it's just... <clears throat> I don't, I don't know what to say. I mean, I just I was blown away by them in the second half. They absolutely skinned us in the second half. And Byron Munich is going to do the same on Tuesday, boys. I don't know what else to say. The cloud is over our head. Like, I thought the cloud would go away today over the Byron Munich draw because you know, we carry this dark cloud with us. When we get a loss or a draw, it carries on, right, for three or four games. We've seen it over and over and over. And here we are again. A bad performance against Munich in the second half, and now an absolute dog shit Luton performance in the second half today. We absolutely gave up. The legs aren't there. And what the fuck is Eddie and Jorginho going to do in the 80th minute? Arteta. It makes me laugh, right? These three people right here, all, these three people right here, are all my mates. They were waiting for this. They were fucking oh, dreaming. They, no, they, were, they were dreaming. Oh, they were like this. Please, please let Arsenal down for please. Yeah. And that's the thing, guys. Like we were you saying, take it in it. You got to take it. You got to take the banner. Right. Yeah. We, got, we can dish it out when they get pumped by yeah, Newcastle. Yeah. At the end of the day, you got you got, you got, you got to take what you're, what you're giving in it. You got to take you know? it. And the thing is, is that you can see the, but the guys. The thing is, that pisses me off is watching the game. You can see the gaps in Chenko leaves, and they go to that side all the time. Why did he bring Leon Bailey on in the 65th minute? And then why did we put Tommy Asu on the right? Make it make it make sense. When Tommy Nelson, oh, Tommy is coming off as in check. Okay. And then you see fucking Ben White trotting off. He may have an injury now, right? Odegaard may be out. He may have a fucking cracked sternum. Who knows ben what the great. hell's going on with him? And then Saka got nailed at the end and was limping off. I'm telling you. And it comes down to TJ Connor. We didn't do the business again in fucking January. We brought in a fucking goalkeeper on fucking loan. Winning a title, winning the Champions League with a fucking goalie as a loan in January. Oh, but we're going to win it, guys. We believe, guys. Lee Gunner, whatever he does with his fucking glasses and his fingers. You know, big up Lee. Big up fucking troops and Ola. All the OGs, Jazz, have had to see this shit. Again, look at the ratings on the fucking computer screen. Look how green Villas is. Compared to our yellow. Gabrielle, a 5.9. Talk about a 1. Get the fuck out of here. So, yeah. All the Tottenham fans, just bring it on for us, guys. Because we deserve it. We fucking deserve it. Yeah. Go ahead, TJ. Um, Absolute facts. Don't forget Maddie the Southern Gooner also um, warned us. Um, I, I, did, I did shoot the link over to Kyle Walsh, but I'm sure he's in high demand right now. Um... Kyle, I see you're in the chat, bro. Check your check your Facebook. You're more than welcome to come on here. I sent you the link on Facebook and Instagram. I need you. I need Kyle Walsh. Um, but yeah, uh, only thing I can say is in the first half, um, we're gonna we're gonna be asking. Um, by the way, smash the likes in here. We got 21 in here. We got 14 likes. Get us up to 25 likes exponent expeditiously, people. Expeditiously, people ask me. Women are at least the Austin women are winning. Pick up the yeah. Yeah, you know, at least at least somebody wearing this badge gives a shit. But here's here's the thing. Um, well, let me let me let me get through some of these super chats and then I'll get into it. And obviously it's all Elias. Elias says eleven red bottle jobs, bottle it again, fraud teta. Here's a small contribution for Connor's therapy. Here's a small contribution for bottle job therapy after the loss. Do 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 okay. All right, congratulations. Oh, oh. Yeah, uh, thank you thank you for the thank you for the four pounds um five bucks elias i appreciate it 
Um, yeah. Um, Kyle was in the back for like yeah, two he seconds wasn't. and then he left. Um, so hopefully he can come back in here shortly. But I'll I'll go ahead and just give my quick spiel. You guys you guys saw um the 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 watch along and i appreciate everybody that watched the watch along really really appreciate it um obviously i'm gonna look back at this game and i'm gonna ask what if i'm gonna ask what if trossard had bought had actually buried that goal when he had a half a goal open mm. um i'm gonna be asking what if our passing out of the midfield was just a little bit more hit our wingers just a little bit better on the run um, to give Saka more space uh, to run in. I'm going to be asking if, um, you know, our our crosses in could have been a little bit better. Saka had a couple of crosses that just didn't couldn't hit the broadside of a barn, couldn't hit water if he fell out of a boat. You know, there 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 are are moments in the game that we just consistently let get away from us. And you also saw that against Bayern. You saw that against Man City. We are we just do not have the killer instinct that it re that is required to capture a title. Yes, of course we're going back to Champions League. And for a lot of this fan base that's okay, but for people like me, you know, a, a stupid Arsenal American Arsenal fan that likes his team's winning trophy, it's not good enough. For Dal who's been a fan of this club for over 20 years, it's not good enough. For Connor, it's not good enough. The guy has been literally sweat blood and tears on this platform watching this channel watching this channel grow watching his channel grow watching this club loose again i'm getting carried away but it's going to be it's going to be a question on this game of what ifs guys we're going to we had moments where we we could have done something and we and we didn't and then in the second half, I don't know what Arteta said in the sec during the halftime team talk. Maybe they put sedatives in the sports drinks, but we absolutely didn't show up. We didn't show up. And now we are at we are at the point where we have to start literally saying, okay, who are we putting on the chopping block over the summers? And Chenko, bye bye. I don't want to see you. Not not only was he making mistakes in the second half, he made mistakes in the first half that made me want to jump out the window. Like wow. this guy does not think before he does before he acts. Nope. He does not think before he puts a foot on the ball. He's a he's a passion merchant. He would obviously like, and I and I I respect the fact that he he bigs up the team and he would die for the club, but die for some other club, man. He he the the passion didn't get us shit today. No, it didn't get us anywhere. The guy said, does you know, not think. Hold on, Connor, real quick. No, the I guy think. does not think before he acts. Gabrielle and Saliba. Who I have been bigging up as the best center back pairing in the Premier they still League. Are. That's the thing. The they still are, TJ. And, 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 and this is the no, thing. No, 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 Connor. Look on when it counts, Connor. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. When it counts, <laughs> they don't show up. Saliba on that last goal for, or on the on the first goal. Ball watching. Ball watching. Gabrielle completely caught by surprise. Ball watching. Mm -hmm. Averts ball watching. So if and if you're gonna force your your uh, front three to track back that far, they better not be ball watching when the cross comes in. Go back Jogging. and watch it. It's oh, absolutely Jogging embarrassing, back. bro. It's embarrassing. And then you're and you're gonna depend on David Rea. And by the way, after this, I'll I'll, I'll concede, Connor. I'm sorry. I, I know you want to get in oh. here, but I I'm just yeah. No, so I got the bounce in a minute. Yeah. The That's fact nice. that you are depending on like and the fact that I have been defending David Rea to do something in this club and he has just 100% embarrassed us three shots on target two of them two of them should have been shots on target but they went off the post the freaking defensive player of the game for us was the left post the top post and the uh, right post we're talking 4-0 like we could be talking way worse than we are right now it's embarrassing, guys. And we'll get – I'm sure it'll come around to me again because I'm sure we're not done quite yet. But Arteta, man, just when I started believing in you, you'd start doing this shit. Unbelievable.
Connor, go ahead. Sorry, man. I'm just – my head's gone. <laughs> my head's gone, dude. Well, I just got my daily message from Stelios, Trelios. Great. Um, it's, it's fantastic. Go back right? to your go back to your four nil bridge, Stelios. Yesterday, literally sent it. So what, what Stel does, he likes to send me loads of messages and Arsenal draw or lose. So I did that to him yesterday. Didn't open it. Now he messages me. Fraud. Anyway, listen, I, I, I do have to bounce because I'm going to head to the gym as I I've okay. been very lazy today and I haven't gone. And I can probably let out a bit of anger in the gym. Um, but listen, I'm not going to lose my head because and I, and I'm I am going to talk about it later on my channel because I think do you know what. It's going to get views. <laughs> so why not? Let's go ahead and do it. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and talk about it a bit a bit more later. But um, listen, to, to wrap up my points, um, I really, and I'm going to watch the press for Mikel, and I hope to God that one of these puppet journalists asks him why he changed the team so much. I don't know why he done that. I don't know whether he underrated Aston Villa to think they're easy. Let's walk past them. Let's change people's positions around. Why you didn't put Rice in the eight where he was fine and leave Jorginho in the six and put Havertz up front and keep the left back the same. And I can warrant Trossard playing because obviously he's played well in these last couple of games, but he he obviously didn't have a great game today. So I, I won't give him, I won't go for him for that. But Arteta's got so much to answer for. The players, why can't we just shoot the goal on the net? And I got to say, and I hate him, but Emmy Martinez had a fantastic game today. Oh, oh my God, what a game. And he, well, I, I, I hate him, but he had a game and he saved Aston Villa's heads so many times. And one more thing, can our players learn the offside rule? Jesus Christ, the amount of times you're offside today. Oh my God, it's crazy. Listen, I'll, I'll probably, I'll be, I'll be a bit of later because I'll, have, I'll, I'll digress it more and I'll be a bit more straight headed. But listen, I'll take a let us down today. Majority of the players let us down today. Um, I'll, I'll respect Odegaard to an extent because he did try to create stuff. At times he was overdoing it with a couple of flicks and tricks and all that. Saka was all right, but by God, if I see him limp one more flip in time, I'm going to lose my shit. I swear to God. Every single time. Literally, it is, it's... Why does he have to limp every single time something happens to him? I swear to God, Stel just sent me 21 fucking messages. Oh my god! Anyway, um, it's gonna be a long. It's gonna be a long week, bro. Just, just oh, get geez. ready for it. It's gonna be a long oh, week. Um, oh, here comes yeah, listen. Anyway, um, yeah, listen. Odegaard, fair play. He was all right. Saka was all right, but then again, wasn't fantastic. Um, ben White was, I thought, was phenomenal. Yeah, I thought he was the best player on the pitch easily. Um, he was great. He was tearing up on that right hand side. If it, if there was a man the match for Arsenal. It would be him, because apart from maybe Odegaard, no one else touches him whatsoever. Um, we move to the Allianz. It's now all in City's hands, but they're all in our hands. Believe. Remember, guys, believe. Um, unfortunately, we've got a load of banter people around us that have to do that kind of shit to then make us look like a laughing stock. But everyone's got it. So, you know, every, every fan base has it, but it is what it is. Um, we move to the Allianz. If I see Zinchenko playing, I'm not even going to watch the game. I swear to God, I'm not even turning on the game. I can't be asked. Um, big up to Xhaka. Well done. You went to a team and you won something. Um, fair play to you. I hope you enjoy it, mate. Um, we didn't, once again. Um, listen, and people are going to be acting. It's not, oh, it's not the end of the world. Listen, this was our chance. One of the teams in the race dropped points today. We had the chance to take over and go first by one point and possibly keep on leading it. But we had to ruin it. Yes, we mathematically, we're still in the title race. But honestly, we know Arsenal. We know the past. We're not going to win it now. We've completely ruined it. So, um, listen, yeah, boys, I know you'll keep you'll do the player rating. Sorry, I can't be there. Can't be here for it. Um, but I know you're going to absolutely rinse them anyway, as you rightfully should. Um, rival fans, enjoy your moment. Get your popcorn out. Um, That's the life while you're doing it. I know, obviously, you've, you've been waiting to... Um, have your moment uh so you can go ahead and do that um unless you're obviously a city fan because you're probably going to win it so respect to you and liverpool fan because you actually won something this year um but yeah listen we move <laughs> ask me to wake up wake up i'm looking forward to all the match reactions tonight it's going to be a laugh um hey listen we move um yeah thanks tj thanks Dal. Yeah. legends of course we're always here 
even when the team don't turn up. You know why it stings so much? It's because we never lose. We barely lose. And when we do, it stings right. that much. And when we lose, Brutal. we always lose in the worst way. We don't go yeah. out fighting. We lose the worst way. But hey, we move and um, I'm going to go let off some steam in the gym. So, All right. Get yeah. get that fitness on, Connor. Again, thank you so much for, for, for coming on and all you do for the channel. Thanks for covering me again uh, the last couple of weeks, brother. No Good worries, man. man. And uh, check out CMO Sports. We're 15, 14 subs away from 600. I'll get him up to six. There are 32 inside. Go over to CMO Sports. His link's in the description, people. Go over there. Are you going to tonight, Connor? Yeah, I'm probably going to go. On. I, I might do like a solo bit at the beginning. I might, if people are there, I might do a call in. Um, but I'll probably go for 9 30, 10 o'clock p.m. UK. So if you want to see a bit of ranting, because I know I. Oh, my bad. Uh, if you want to see a bit of ranting, because I don't like to do it on TJ's channel, because it's his channel. I don't want to go too over the top. You can come see me overreact on my channel. <laughs> but do subscribe to TJ. Go subscribe to Dow. And thanks, Arsenal. Can't wait for this week. We've got Bayern Munich and the other ones. <laughs> Kill me. See you later, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Big okay, up, Connor, guys. every single time. Um, by the way, we guys, I, I, Dal, I didn't know if you knew this, but we have a celebrity in our midst. Who? Oh. Did you know that? Did you know that? We got Ryan. We got Ryan in the chat. Ryan is here in the chat. Who's Ryan? Ryan, um, you you might recognize him um, from this. And and Ryan again. Again, yeah. um, sorry, dude, you got to hold it. By the way, can I just yeah. say, the two girls below us are looking 16 out of 10 today, both of them. All right. A thousand years later. This poor guy. Sorry, Ryan, that's not me doing this, bro. Eternity later. I know who you are now. <laughs> So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. All right, big up the panel. I told that's for a story. Uh, way, you know, here's the thing. Here's the thing is like at the end of the day, Arsenal can lose, right? Arsenal lose. You, you lose football games sometimes, right, Dal? Sometimes, but, apparently. But uh, yeah, but you, you're you're not giving women 16 out of 10s on. Uh, on on youtube anyway anyway oh, big up ryan no, no, ryan ryan and, and ryan honestly you can hold that bro because you were the guy immediately in my dms after <laughs> you guys drew to um man united and said congratulations you guys are winning the league like get the fuck out of here like this is unbelievable and by the way big up everybody this is obvious this is all, honestly already our most popular match reaction we've ever had because we're fuming and we took a freaking l Brutal. Right. If it was a draw, we wouldn't be. Dude, if it was a draw, it would be fine. We wouldn't, we wouldn't be saying this. You blew it! God, it's the second season in a row. Yeah? Second season in and a I, row. We don't come back from this, bro. We don't. Like, I know people, I know there's already the talking heads are out there. Oh, we're only one point back with six games to go. This is what we've said from day one. If City get the lead and can maintain it, they will finish out the season like they normally do. There's no one stopping them. If someone said, oh, well, we're going to play Spurs. Really? Really? <laughs> really? I'm not trying to bag the raw rivals. I'm not. But let's be honest. You guys just got fucking pummeled at Newcastle. I mean, to think that you're the Tottenham's going to stop City in, home or away, I mean, let's be realistic. You know, and I'm yeah. again, I'm not trying to bag on – on you know the lily whites or anything it's just i i just no one's stopping the blue train nope they're not nope. phil foden is getting player of the year gavadol is scoring goals fucking from anywhere outside the 18 yard box they're they're synced up again holland is causing problems again this is the time that they are going to push and win the fucking title again Again, a team 20 years ago was in Division B, Division 2. Division 2, yep. Division 2. I used to watch them play with Danny Mills and Joey Barton. I mean, this is what we're talking about. This is what oil money can do. And fair enough, clubs get the money, they're going to spend it, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to go on owner. I'm not going to go on a fucking ownership rant. What I am going to go on today, though, is a defensive rant where all of a sudden our center backs think they're fucking central midfielders. Because I guess it's okay in our team to push up as far as you want, right? Because it's so helpful. But at the end of the day, 
were crunched in like a damn cupcake, and Leon Bailey's out there just waving his hand. Because Zinchenko decides he's fucking, I don't know, he's Odegaard all of a sudden. You know, and, and Gabrielle just watching, leaving acres of space behind him. Big up, Hendon. Big up, Hendon, every right, time. Just, I don't know what your know, tennis telling these players, bro. What did he tell them at halftime? Here's like, a horse tranquilizer. Go, go out there and get us, to get us the win. Yeah, go get us the win. Here, I'll put you here, Eddie. You go get us the win. No, no, no. We're, okay, Havertz, you go get us the win. No, I'm not too sure about that. Martinelli, go to the left. He didn't do shit because he's too far back. How is Martinelli going to take the ball from our defensive third and dribble all the way into the fucking goal? There's one player that does that. He plays for Real Madrid, number seven, Vinny fucking Jr. No other player in the Premier League or across the world does the things Vinny Jr. can do. And that's the shit Arteta's asking Martinelli to do right now. Oh, take the ball and just go as fast as you can up the pitch, regardless if you lose control, regardless if there's anyone you can square the ball off to because they're 10 feet behind you. You know? Yeah, don't hurt yourself, folks. True, he's no, no. Paul's right on here, and I and I called it out during the game too. Is that the fact? Look, I didn't see Ben White limping off. Like so, so if Ben White is injured, I'll, I'll say mea culpa. Okay, you you you're correct, right? My my problem is is that the rest of the subs, you could tell he it was for conserving against Bayern, and he thought at that point that our subs that were going to come on, we're going to be able to do a job putting Zin putting, keeping Zinchenko on for 90 minutes after the performance that he was having was absolutely insane. You just conceded the league that way. And look, look, here's the thing is I want to back this club. I want to back this manager, but they make it so hard. They make it so hard when the casual fan looks at the performance that Zinchenko was putting in and, and you say, and you go, Oh yeah, no, you know, the one right back that's actually putting – the one fullback that's actually putting in a job today, Ben White, yeah, he's on a yellow, but we're going to take him off and put on Tommy Asu on that right side, which it doesn't matter if you play Tommy Asu on the right or the left. He can do a job, in my opinion. My my problem was is that you kept the person that was obviously struggling on the pitch, and it costed us, Dal. It costed yeah. us. It, it, Chat. It cost six weeks Chat, to play. You got you to you gotta understand that the fact – this guy was giving us warning signs all game long, giving the ball away all game long. Yeah. Yes, Love he me. did put in a couple of good passes, but come on, guys. we Half of them were offside anyway. And, and here's another thing. Unai Emery, we need to give props to Aston Villa. They played the shit out of that game. Yeah. Unai Emery draws more teams offside than any other Premier League team. Any other right. Premier League team, and I guess he didn't check the game notes because he had people striding that line the entire time, and the, yeah. and and then they got trapped, offside, offside, offside. Yes. Gabriel Jesus, offside, twice, three times in that game, unbelievable. And offside. Nobody knew that. Trossard offside. Havertz offside. Like, what are we doing? Are we not watching video? Of how these guys play, and this is what this is the thing that, that boggles my mind about this fan base. People were saying four nil, three nil. Yeah, oh, I think did. you're gonna get a. I think you're gonna get a clean sheet. I'm like, no, we're not. How do you look at the get? How do you look at the back line against uh, the way our back line played against Bayern Munich and say, oh yeah, we're gonna keep a clean sheet against these guys? Ollie Watkins, who's second in the Golden Boot race now, by the way, trailing right. one behind Holland. Like right. <laughs> we we completely underestimated these guys, not only as a team, but as a fan base. Yeah, and it's we did. absolutely insane to me. We did underestimate Sorry, them. I'm that's a very good call, call, dude. I think that's the best call. We underestimated them. We thought, you know, oh, a couple of players are gonna be out. And who gets the man of the match for Aston Villa? The guy off the bench, Yuri fucking Tillemans. Yep. Who all would have scored a brilliant goal because Zinchenko was out of position again. And that was even on the right side, and Zinchenko was getting smoked on that one. You know, he was on the left to the right. He was all over the place. He's a dude. He's like a chicken with his head cut off, just running around. Like, oh, he thinks he's causing problems. He's not causing problems. He's causing problems for us because we get caught on the counter whenever he pushes up. 
And you're right, TJ. How can Arteta go on and not see this, but then see it and keep playing him? Like, we had a formula with Kimuir. Is he injured? I don't even know if he was on the bench. We had a formula with Kimuir at left back. Yes, he got smoked by Leroy Sané. It's Leroy fucking Sané. He smokes everybody. He's a world-class winger that would walk on to Arsenal, left Man City. He did a walk on at any club pretty much in the world. Madrid yep. were after him. Barcelona were after him. I'm not blaming Kiwi or Bayern Munich, but I'm blaming Arteta for not putting him in the proper game. This was the proper game for Kiwi or not Bayern fucking Munich. And that's where I get the up with Arteta. He makes the wrong decisions in the wrong games, and it ends up costing us at the wrong time. You know, that's twice we, we've dropped six points to Villa this season. We got we got doubled up. We got doubled up by Aston Villa. Yes, our old manager. But let's not forget, a man who's won, I think, Jamino, tell me, four European Europa League trophies. Two of them, I think, in a row with Sevilla. Won the League One with with uh, PSG. And won probably their, um, their tournament, whatever it is. Tournament, too. I don't know. What it's tournament. Tournament. Coupe right? de France. He said, he, he dealt with Neymar, bro. And for any manager, and as you know as a chat, if you can deal with someone like Neymar and get them to produce and win, that's a manager. Could you imagine Neymar at fucking Arsenal? And I know I'm talking out of the box here. But it's let's okay. be real. Let's be real, right? Unai Emery has ex- is, as very much keyed in on the management of how to manage top players. Arteta gets rid of his top players that he can't control. Aubameyang, Ozil, but Ozil was done. Aubameyang being number one. If Aubameyang was striking right down this squad, we I think we would be lifting the trophy if he was up front. Because look at what he's doing in Marseille. Wow, their top goal scorer. Imagine that. You know, it's the decisions that this club is making of why we have results like this. It's decisions like we made in January of not getting a midfielder, a striker, a winger. No, a fucking keeper that we really didn't need, to be honest. We really didn't need on loan from fucking Brentford. And what did we get back from Brentford? A big, yeah, thanks very much. Ivan Tony's 100 mil. Go fuck yourself, Arsenal. Yeah. Again, we get played by these teams. You know, and, and uh, fuck, I don't want to divert from the topic, right? I don't want to go into. Okay, no, 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 no. It's fine. No, this is it. This is a. This is a venting session. We don't session, make bro. moves in January, bro. And we said this when it was the end of January, TJ, on our very show. <clears throat> excuse me. That that why do we not get one player in that can help us win a title this season? No, we bring in Rhea. Oh, let's bring him up the Arsenal way. Let's bring in Kai Havertz and teach him the Arsenal way. We don't have fucking time for that. We don't have time to bleed in new players to who are completely fucking blue to what we're trying to do. We need established winners at this club. Established winners that have won trophies that Arteta can see as, as, as valuable to whatever puzzle he's trying to put together. We're, we put 65 million at Havertz to get us 10 goals. Uh, per, one purple patch. He did shit at the beginning. He did he did some great stuff in the beginning of 2024. And now we're back to Kai Havertz left fucking midfield. Who just follows the strikers around, loses the ball, watches the ball, doesn't communicate. I mean, we had Trossard, Havertz, and Zinchenko on our left side. Yep. I've said no, it over didn't. and over. The left side is the weakest side, and that's why he keeps subbing that side. He doesn't sub Zaka. He doesn't really sub Odegaard. He rarely subs Ben White. The whole right side is legit. It's the left side that he we keep tinkering with and thinking that a 65 mil Kai Havertz is going to lift us a title is fucking dumb. A, a purple it's, patch. It's absolutely said it. A purple patch. AJ Byatt said it. Purple patch. Jermino said it. Purple patch. And it's true. It's no, it's 100% true. And look, guys, like it's easy to get behind a team when you when you're winning, what we won what we won 9 in a row. I and I kept saying this over and over and over again and and oh, no, my voice is completely completely given <laughs> out, dude. I'm finished. No, like my whole my whole thing with this club is and this is why I was cautiously optimistic and I was looking at the Kool-Aid and I didn't I didn't quite sip it yet. You have to look at the at the teams that we were beating on this run in, 
and say, mm -hmm. we should have been doing that anyway. And as soon as we run into a team that has the cojones, that has the brains as a manager yeah, to come in and, and, and to come into the Emirates and not only get a result, but absolutely embarrass us. You you got you got to take a look take a hard look at yourself and be like, was January, and uh, January through March was just a fairy tale, right? Because it's April again, and look we're the it's April Fools all over again all month long, no no good results, no good results. Oh. Obviously we got we got a result against Porto and that was March thirty first, right. guys or not March thirty first that was March sixteenth. March thirty first was our first game back. We bar we barely won. Now we're in April and it's falling apart again. We yeah. gotta we we really gotta take a look from the top down this off season because look guys like I hate to be that guy but the season's over like it's over okay we are now two points behind Man City Man City are not going to drop points they're not and you you people that are gonna say oh well you know they got the bogey team Tottenham they're gotta they gotta play Brighton they gotta play Chelsea don't they aren't gonna do anything. They're going to do anything. Highline Spurs are not going to beat Man City. Like, stop trying to sell me a freaking dream here. Like, stop. Big up Rams. I haven't seen you in a while. Big up Rams. Big up everybody in the chat because this is a vending session. This is a therapy session. We'll get to, we'll get to, we'll get to the player ratings at some point, but come yeah. on. Look, like, look, 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 guys, look, and, and look, I'm not trying yeah. to be Mr. Negative here. Actually, I am because that's what I am right now. But here, here's who Man City have to play on the run out. Brighton away, they're gonna win. Forest away, they're gonna win. Wolves at home, Wolves at home, they're gonna win. Fulham, that's one trap game that I think they might be able to get because Fulham is good at home against top six teams. Maybe then. That's oh, Tottenham teams. away. Tottenham wow. away, there's no way they're losing that. No way. Not with the way that Ange plays. Ange doesn't have a plan B. Sorry, Spurs fans. That's just the way it is. Man City versus West Ham at home. They're going to Pam them 6-0. And then that's the end of the season. It's over. Yeah. Those it's first over. Four games, those first four games, it's done. Before they get to Spurs, it's done. Yeah. Like, There's, come they're on, They're not guys. losing to Fulham at home, bro. Guys, they're not like. They're Fulham. No, no, I'm not. Well, they're playing Fulham away. And Fulham is good oh. at playing teams. But but at, at the same time, Dal, you're right. Really the quality, man. Like. Yeah, I'm and I'm not hanging my hat on that. I'm just saying that, yeah. like, like, don't try to sell me a dream. Don't don't piss on my head and tell me it's rain. Right. Like, come yeah. on. But that's but Arteta's thing is pissing on all of our heads and telling us it's raining, and then telling us to trust the process behind, you know, behind closed doors essentially. And then of course in his well, not even behind closed doors in his public speaks speeches behind you know trust the process, guys. This is a light bulb, guys. You know, the all or nothing bullshit. Um, and, right, I just, I can't, um, I can't not figure out why we did not score today in the first half. I just, you know, I, I, I know Spurs lost 4-0. I get it. I get it. But that doesn't affect us. That doesn't affect us. I mean, if Spurs were third... Nobody, nobody cares. Spurs, Spurs are so irrelevant. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Like, and I'm not even talking about. I'm not even trying to shit on the Spurs fans in the chat. I know a lot of Spurs fans follow this channel, but they're not relevant to this conversation. Like, period, end of story. Like, until we play you guys in the North London Derby, right. I don't care. I don't care about you. I'm, I'm, right. I'm focused were, on Bayern now. You know, they were October champions, and we were basically January, and February champions, right? I mean, they don't give trophies out though yet. <laughs> 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 just, you know, I, I'm at the point where it's like this has become this is just becoming the norm. Is that we look so good sometimes coming out the gate, or in some seasons we look bad and we catch up, or we look really good out the gate, and then of course April rolls around and here we are. You know, this team is not ready for the pressure. They weren't, you know, and but again. Unai Emery took a page out of Bayern Munich's book. You were absolutely right. They just held on and held on and waited for their chance and took it. And they knew that chance was going to come. That's the thing. They knew the chance was going to come. And I swear, Gabrielle, just ball watching. Way yeah, too you high. Know what? 
you know what? Let's get into player ratings because honestly, like, I don't know what else I can say without just starting to repeat myself. Um, actually, no, I want to talk about the subs just real quick. Sure. Just real quick. I, I, I don't understand um, why it's, it's very, very obvious where our best chance of winning a trophy is. And, and Dal, I hate to play spoiler alert. It's not in the Champions League. It's not. No, God, no. We do not have the quality of squad to get over the line in the Champions League because we run into a buzzsaw next round regardless. And I hate to play spoiler for, for Arsenal fans, but if Man City get past Real Madrid, we're not beating Man City four times in a season. Or we're not getting a result right. against Man City four times in a season. It's not happening. Like, a lot of our fan base lives in fairyland and big up. I hope they're successful in doing that. But I am a realist. Dow is a realist. Okay? We're not beating those teams four times or getting results four times in a row. It's just right. not happening. And if you think this club is going to beat Real Madrid. I have a freaking bridge in Arizona to sell you. I have oceanfront property. I have Chevy Impalas from 1985 to sell you because you can be convinced of anything. Okay? So the fact that we did not take this game 100% seriously, the fact that we are subbing off Ben White and if, again, if he's injured, that's fine. I understand that. But he didn't look injured to me. You subbed off Odegaard. You subbed off Ben White. You subbed off Trossard. When those are players that were actually doing a job for you at the time. And you kept on players like Gabriel Jesus, Zinchenko, that were putting in absolute stinkers. It's embarrassing. And the fact that you put on... Eddie and Ketty at the end of the game, hoping that you're going to be able to stink something out. You might as well have just waved the white flag that's, there. We might as right. well have gone to the locker right. room when it hit 90. That's what Troops was saying. He goes, why the hell even bring him on? Blake? He's absolutely dog shit. And that's, you know, that's absolutely what, what pisses me off about that. That to me, bringing on Eddie, it obviously is a sign of desperation, but it's a slap in the face to the fans. And it's a slap in the face to Eddie too, who hasn't been fucking had a sniff in what, six weeks. Yep. And the guy's literally got one foot out the door, thank God. And we see why. But, you know, right, right, what are you, what's Smith Rowe supposed to do? Like, what, perform these miracles? I mean, he was the last man back. He couldn't even stop the ball. Nope. nope. It's like, get a foot in. But no, he just jinxed it right over. It's like our defending is run with the player, watch, 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 and then wait. Right? And then wait to get a foot in or wait to, you know, make shoulder contact or wait to get in front of them. It's like we're always just a step behind. Well, especially today, just a step behind. Like yeah. the passes, they, they're, they're passing today from player to player. Our defensive player was just a step behind him or just too far back or couldn't get up in front. And that's the stuff Bayern Munich was doing. They were finding the small gaps to expose us. And when you have a whole left side, that well, our right side, that's essentially you know, our left side. Sorry, that's essentially open. You know, like a like an open field for them just to run freely in, and and that's the thing where I get the up again with Arteta. Is you know, Leon Bailey in the 65th minute is brought on to be a killer. He's brought on to win the game, Bro, and yeah. yet you play Zinchenko invertedly. Once I saw him come on, I'd be like, okay, Tommy Asu on the left, or I told Zinchenko, do not let this man out of your sight if you have to fucking grab his shirt for the whole 30 minutes left of the game. Do not let him out of your sight. Stick to him like white on rice. You know, and no, Zinchenko gets a ball and he does his little thing and he does his little reverse pass to nobody. It doesn't work. It, nope. it works some of the time. I'll give him that. I mean, we've seen it. We saw it work last season with Zinchenko inverted in the beginning of the season when it was kind of a a new thing, essentially, right? I mean, just at some point, I don't remember him inverting the first year Arteta got here. I think that's something we started doing last season. But 
besides last season, what we saw today is just, it's not good enough. You're not going to win a league in that form. And it was way too casual. True. It was casual. I, uh, Zinchenko's casual. Yeah, for sure. No, I mean, and, and Gunnar ER, great point. How can City go and win this league? It shows how crap we are. Exactly. We are, and here's right. the thing, and here's another thing, and I'm not trying to go on another diatribe here, but I feel like I feel like I should be, be paying Dal for being my therapist at this point. Because I, I, I literally, I, I literally don't understand this. I don't understand the mentality of this club. You are playing against the worst Manchester City team we have seen in almost a fucking decade, and you and you're throwing it away and you have a class group of players here. Look, we were, we're sewering the players here because of the performance. It was very, right. very bad, but the performances leading up to this were pretty good. Okay. You have Bakayo Saka and I know he catches a lot of crap, but he is the future of this club. If we play it right, but if we keep playing it wrong, like we, excuse me, like we are, he's going to leave. He's going to leave. If we don't win anything in three years, you think Declan Rice is going to want to stay? No. He's going to want to leave. Martinelli is going to want to leave. Like, guys, we can sign all these guys in these long-term feel-good contracts, but if we don't start winning trophies, how long are you guys going to tolerate it? How long are you going to tolerate it? Big up Warrior J. He's here to clip us up. All I'm saying is, is look, guys, let's stop living in fantasy land and think that we're all going to be a feel good starting. This feel good starting 11 is going to stay around for a long time. They're not. They're not. When are you going to start taking this seriously? When are you going to start being real about this? Right. Please. Right. You know, and the reason I get so upset is because I don't like I don't like watching us lose. Like, I'm not. <laughs> I am not Manchester United. I. I'm not a Manchester United fan. I'm not a Chelsea fan. I'm not a Spurs fan because I expect our team to win. And I do not accept this. I don't accept this. Done. All right. No, let's go. Let's then, on, you're right. Declan Rice, Declan Rice, if he has another good two or three years, Madrid, Barcelona, some of those teams are come knocking at the door and he's going to go. Like, yep. there's no. <laughs> if I'm Declan Rice and Barcelona are knocking on my door, I'm sorry, but I'm going. Because there's it's only a matter of time. Win trophies. It's just a it's just a complete and utter algorithm that I'm going to win trophies at Barcelona, the Arsenal. It's 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 written in the equation. It's only a matter of time. It's written in the stars. And speaking of the stars aligning, shout out Tony Claude. The stars aren't aligning, bro. (laughs) It's just they're not aligning. Tony Claude, Tony Claude, the stars are way out of whack, bro. This is the worst constellation I've ever seen in my life. Mm. We got Can't, six wait more show. Show. Can't wait for our show on Wednesday, though. United, Chelsea, and Spurs in those six. Oh, God. Yep. Oh, God. If yep. we play like we did today, we're going to get tanked in the fucking lane, bro. <laughs> we uh, will. Dude, really and here's the thing is I was talking so much garbage the entire week, and then our and then our defense – Gives in a performance like that, yeah. and now, now th- there's a reason why people are dropping. Our Spurs fans are dropping into our DMs like they want to bang us. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like it's crazy. Oh, but hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're I moving into the player rate. We're moving into the player rating. Bastards. All right, so we we have a special uh, uh, countdown. So we have uh, eight. <laughs> out, we have ten to eight. Um, I'm just gonna okay. go ahead and delete that. Okay. Because nobody's getting that happen. Nobody's doing that. Nobody's <laughs> doing that. over seven. You yeah. put a minus ten thousand there for Jermino just to make. Oh yeah, do you want? Yo, you want me? Yeah, you know what? That's a good point. Just sell them now. Oh no, there you go. Yeah, yeah, there you go. No, I gotta sell them now, and we'll do a minus ten thousand. How about that? Love it. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Sell them now is gonna be <laughs> yes, yes, and uh cubed. I know she she keeps she keeps telling me about it. That's I funny. Lot cubed, to be honest, uh, <laughs> unless you guys are friends, I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a long met, story. They met they met, right? They didn't they meet at the? Arsenal? They've never met, but no, they've never met okay. before. No, they've never met before. Long story. I'll tell you I in the background. That, I respect that behavior from Elias, but not cubed. <laughs> All anyway. right, guys. Let's let's get in. Let's get into the player ratings. Everybody in the chat, put in your player ratings in the chat. Let's go. This is going to be an absolute massacre, and I cannot wait for it. Big up, by the way. Big up everybody watching. 
Um, we have had this is our most popular match reaction by far. Arsenal because you expect to win. Come on, TJ. That's like expecting a Patriots fan right now and expecting Super Bowls. That's completely that's completely different. That's completely different, Paul. Because we have the team that is a that we have the quality of player that we can win. We have it. seen it before, but but I think today was completely mismanaged in my opinion. On top of players delivering an absolute stinker. Um, yeah. All right, David Rea. Go ahead, Dal. Uh, David Rea. <sighs> Five. Five. I think that's I think that's nice. Yeah, well, I don't I he was not the cause of our that's loss. True. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. You know, I but I do agree there was a comment earlier that says he looked shaky in big games, and that I agree with. There's still some things to figure out. Um, but against Bayern Munich, I'm sorry, but Ramsdale makes that save of the first goal that goes between his legs. True. So, yeah, five. Five. All right. I'm going to – I'll stick with a five. I was leaning four, but, yeah, five. Five is fine. Four, five, five yeah, 4.5. Fair enough. 4.5. I'm not going to make it. I'm not – I'm not <laughs> – who used to give me – give us crap about – was that here to there that used to give us crap about the 4.5s? Anyway. Oh, you know, so here to there is giving us crap anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's a four. Everyone's saying it's a four. So everybody's yeah, saying it's four. You know what? We'll we'll, we'll give it a four. We'll give it a four. We agree with the chat. So, yeah. Yeah. Jamino minus one million. Falls like he got shot million. by a sniper for the first goal. Absolutely shambolic from him. If Ramsdale does that, you'd be calling for his head, and rightfully so. I'm not. I'm not defend. Jamino, Rea was indefensible today. Um, a lot of the team was, to be honest. So, all right. Um, where is he? Where is he? Sorry, I I'm not as organized as Connor is. No, that's all right. Zinchenko. Oh boy. Yep. You guys can go ahead and give your give your ratings, but I'm I'm yep. done. I'm done. I'm done. Nobody can gaslight me into saying that that what I saw on the pitch tonight was redeemable. In any right. way, shape, or form. Right. It's like, not Premier League level. It's not. You know? And and you know what? And I'll, I'm going to say to it's like fuck him as well because there's certain times where it's like I know we know he's been told to do certain things and he just won't do it. I truly believe he does things on his own mind, thinking he's doing what's best. That's the attitude I get from him. You know what I mean? Like, regardless of what's going on, he's going to do what he wants to do. Yep. If it's dribbling the ball up the middle, if it's not defending, if it's, you know, doing a lazy pass and not running back but jogging, he's sort of one of – he just comes off as kind of kind of arrogant to me. So I won't do that. So, yeah, fuck him. Sell him. Out the door. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done with, with Zinchenko. Um, yeah, thanks, but no thanks. I'm I'm completely done. I'm, I'm completely done. Um. Gabrielle. Three. I agree. Not bad in the first half, of course. Um, was doing his job. But dear God, I don't know what was going on in the second half. Complete capitulation. Complete meltdown. And I you know, I think sometimes he's more worried about telling other players what to do because he's kind of always, you know. He's always talking. He was mouthing off. I think he's given a lot of direction sometimes, but he doesn't follow his own advice. Like that first goal, he was way, way, way up in the pitch for Leon Bailey's first goal, yep. way past the half yard line. I mean, and Leon Bailey was just trotting that line, just waiting for that ball, and it finally came. And he's 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 stuck on it, man. Yep. And there's no way we can get back. Got, uh, man, Gunnar no is Gunnar Yar wants, wants him gone. Are Dang, chasing man. Leon Bailey, one of the fastest yeah. players in the Premier League, I believe. Yep. No, and and as soon as soon as he came on, that fraud Jacob was like that. That Jamaica goal is gonna hit like crack, and and yeah. it happened, Jamaica. man. I hope I hope I big up Jacob by the way, and in his yeah. uh, his his daughter should be coming tomorrow by the way. Oh, so nice. big up to Jacob. Oh. Um. Yeah, uh, but yeah, the, I, Jacob, Jacob so I hope you laid a, I hope so you laid a tenor on that, man. I hope you laid a tenor on that. No, Jacob knows football. He just supports the wrong team. 
<laughs> exactly. It is, exactly what it, right. is. it is what it is. All right. Uh, Saliba, I'm I'm putting him right next to him. Really? Yep. Sorry. Ball watching on that. Ball watching on that first goal as well. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm completely I'm completely completely disappointed with our back line today. Um, the only person that can walk off the pitch with his head held, held high has been white. In my opinion, Ben white was moving all over the pitch. Um, we can get into him, but, uh, Saliba was in the middle of that. It, go back and watch the replay. He was back there and he was ball watching, um, on that goal. Um, and I called it out during the watch along. Um, I, I, I have not, we call him a Rolls Royce all season up until about January. And where has he been? Where did he go? Well, he got man of the match just a few weeks ago. I think it was against City or the one after Brentford, maybe. There was a game he got man of the match just a few weeks ago. Yeah, I'm and then, right. It's been off and on for him this season. He's he's still the Rolls Royce, he's still the calmer of the two without the you know, Gabriel and the Bozo gene. Um but just today was just not good. It was ball watching. It was it was we were reactionary and wait. Other players were waiting for other players to do do their job instead of just doing the job, right? Yep. No, one hundred percent. And 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 I'm just you know I'm so disappointed. And the reason I'm so harsh, guys, is because I expect more out of these players. These these two cent these two cent center backs are two of the best in the league. But when they come out and do what they have done over the last seven days, you got to take a look at it and go. Something's wrong. Right. The confidence is down. They need to pick their head up, or else we're gonna get embarrassed at the Allianz. Like, sorry to play, sorry to play. Spoiler alert for you guys, but we we could get embarrassed. We could get embarrassed out there. Um, Ben White, while he was on, what do you got? Um, I agree. I, I'm gonna give him a six. He was the best of a bad bunch. Yep. Well, you didn't hear much. I mean, and also I don't. For me, I was I didn't hear much of him today, um, which I think was good, you know, because he was doing what he had to do. But he was the he was the better of the four. Yeah, no, one hundred percent, I agree with you. Oh, he's yeah, not, he gets, oh, he's he's not got a long term injury or anything. No, no, I, I I seriously think it was a sub for sub to to keep him um, mm -hmm. fresh for Bayern. I really do. I really do think that. And if he doesn't start against Bayern, then hey, I'll say I'll I'll, I'll say no. But but yeah, I think I think that was a tactical sub for looking ahead to the champions league um okay let's go into the midfield uh declan rice um i'm gonna say five um average could have yep. done more could have been worse games. what do you think two average games in a row he was average against Bayern munich and he was average today and that's you know but that's kind of part and partial. I mean, we are six weeks away from the end. I'm sure his. I'm sure he's fucking exhausted from doing all the work. <laughs> you know? Right? I mean, I, uh, I mean, yeah. you have five today, but he was still instrumental in keeping them at bay. He still had moments where he was great. I mean, that's the thing is that he's trying to do everything for everyone, and it just doesn't work that way. Um, but he just. I don't know. There's um, it's just not happening for him right now. But it's not like he's bad, right? It's just yeah. There's just some T's to cross, some I's to dot, and he'll be back to what he was, I think, in January, when he was absolutely to me one of the best midfielders by far, um, January and February on that run. But yeah, no, that's to be expected. Six weeks left. There, a lot of these guys have tired. They looked tired in the second half. I mean, they looked tired coming out the tunnel in the second half, in my opinion. But um, yeah, Declan Rice five. Wasn't the worst, wasn't the best. Yep. No, I agree. I agree 100 percent Um Trossard. Um, um you go. Trossard. I'm gonna give him a four as well. Yeah. I thought um when you're in that position, that's about composure in front of goal, which we've talked about before about you know Kai Havertz scoring a, a few goals. I think one of them, he kept his composure really well and buried one. I forget which team. The great header he scored against Brentford. And then the goals Trasard have scored against Porto, Bayern Munich, and other important teams. is It's great, but it's starting to look like he's really kind of an impact player. Like just yep. the starting, the, when he starts, it just doesn't work for him. And I don't know what he's got to do 
or why he can't really run 90 minutes. I think there's something there that he's just, he's just tired, you know, um, and that's such a lame excuse. And you are to give him a zero. I, I think that's a little harsh. I think it's, uh, I think that's harsh. I think, I right. think that I mean he he wasn't got to score those goals, bro. When the wall hole left side is wide open. Well, no, and I mean, and that's the reason I wasn't, and that's the reason I wasn't giving him like a five or a six because I think overall his game was okay, but you can't miss those chances and expect us not to criticize you. So yeah, it's yeah a four because he was he wasn't as bad as Gaffney. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. right. All right. No, I agree. I agree with you one hundred percent. Um, Martin Odegaard. Um, I. I'm going to give him a six. I thought he was, I thought he was one of our better players today. And I think taking him off when we took him off, um, hopefully he's not injured from getting the, the high um, from, from, um, Diego Carlos and the, Diego Carlos, um, when he was trying to do an overhead kick, but I thought Odegaard, I thought Odegaard was fine. I thought he was one of our. I, I thought he was our best player today. To be honest with you, he um, the and, best. He cared the, the most in the first half. Yeah, and I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give guys. I'm not gonna give him a seven because you know what? I'm taking seven off. You don't lose a game like that and get a seven. You don't lose a game like that and give us that get high. a seven. Sorry, he's one of. He was one of our best players. I'm gonna give him a six. But I think the manager has to hold this one because you took off our best creative midfielder and he was creating. He was. Well, you are and saying he took him off. It makes sense as well. Yeah. Well, I think Arteta saw nothing out of that game, bro. He saw us getting nothing out of that game and then they scored that second goal and then it's really game over. He was up before know? they scored. Oh, that's right. He was, wasn't he? Yeah. Well, well you're saying sub for Byron. I can see that. And then the kick in the chest, maybe there's something there. I I don't know. Yeah. I, but he looked leggy too. He gave everything he had in the first half. He did. He did. Am I being too harsh? Should I give him a seven? No. No, a no, seven, okay. three, seven, eight, nines. That's high. That means you're scoring goals, you're assisting goals, you're performing, you're putting in crosses, you're doing your job above and beyond. A five, means you're just doing your job. A six means you're doing a little more than your job. Under a five means you're not doing your job at all. Right? No, I agree. That's the way I read it. I agree. All right. No. Um, Gabriel Jesus. Three. Uh, no, two. Uh, no. Sell him now. Sell him. Fuck him. Speak, hey, it's great speak on it real running. quick. Speak on it. It's great when he's running around ticky tacky ticky tacky inside the box and the defender's putting his foot in. He does a little juke around them and then. But can he finish? Can he score? No. No. He has to be wide open with Diego Dallo sliding all the way back to Portugal for him to go around and score. He needs wide open spaces like the fucking Dixie Chicks because he cannot internally score. If he does score, he taps it in. You know, we've seen some great stuff. But again, him and say Zinchenko, I've said it before, were Arteta's security blanket for coming to the Arsenal. He needed a couple players that he could rely on to galvanize the squad and say, hey, here's a couple winners. Here's who I work with at City, blah, blah, blah. But that time is done. That time is done. The security blanket of having two players from your ex club, you know, kind of galvanize yourself as the new manager, that time is done. We will never win a Premier League. With Gabriel Jesus as a striker, who even himself claims he's not a striker. Make it make sense, TJ. Off mute. Mute. Sorry. No, I agree. Um, I had the highest hopes for this guy when he came into the club. Um, I bought a shirt. I bought a shirt for God's sakes. Like I was so excited for this guy to be in the club. And uh, yeah, um, I I don't I. I don't have the words, to be honest. I don't have the words. Caught offside so many times. Um, doesn't have the finishing capability. Always hits the floor. Anytime he anytime he's in the box, he hits the floor. The ref, the ref, like even if it is a pen that, that you, the ref could look at, mm -hmm. he like the ref automatically is looking at this guy being like, no way. Like right. you're, you're always hitting yeah, the floor, bro. Very yeah. true. Good point. I Boy, you cried about... wolf, man. Right. Like, yeah. Waka waka. 
Anyway, yeah, no, sell him now. Like I, and my heart breaks, man, because I w- I really had the highest of hopes for this guy. I really well, did. You gotta add up what he has has not done, and remember, he's had two knee surgeries now since the World Cup. Yep. Um, and you know, I think he's what 27, 28 years old. It's it's time. There's better strikers out there. We're already looking at Leal, I think, to bring in on the left for probably Martinelli. Um, I mean, there's strikers out there we can get, and I'm not going to go down the list because we all know who they are. But um, Arteta's really got to take a long look at what Jesus really, really brings. No, I agree. I agree 100%. I would sell him. I'm ruthless. Yep. Okay, um, Bakayo. What do you got for Bakayo? (laughs) (laughs) Two. This is brutal. This is brutal, dude. And because if you're going to be star boy, you got to carry the team. If you're going to be star boy, you got to be star boy. And there were some opportunities he had in the first half, but second half, he was a ghost. He was fucking, I don't think the announcer said his name two or three times except for when he was on the ground. Two. I see some fours. I get it. I agree. No, 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 no. You guys can see some fours all you want, but look, like, and and I'll give him I'll give him benefit of the doubt that um a lot of the a lot of the positions that he was put in, it, like he had a lot of really really um bad angles on the on the net that he was trying to shoot at. Nobody could have hit those angles. I mean, unless you're like. Sala or Prime Hazard, you're not hitting those. So it's it's one of those things where I I give him the benefit of the doubt for that. But he's not impacting the game outside of what Correct. outside of his position. Does that make sense? Like yeah, he's, he's not. Ronaldo. Yeah, no, he's not. He's not doing he's not without scoring the, goals. He's not doing the things that you would expect out of a superstar player that all of these people are 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 bringing him up to be. And I think he is a superstar player potentially. He's obviously he's he has the most GA on the he has the most goals, most assists on the team. He leads both categories. So I'm not going to sewer him for that. Like all these people saying sell him, sell him, sell him. I don't agree with that because he is potentially the future well, of this well, club. Poten- well, that's the problem, TJ. And 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 and. You know, I'm not trying to toot my horn, but following no, this club, ahead. you know, two hundred years longer than you is that some of these players, yes, they do go on to to do great things. Granted, Jaka today, but Saka is not. How do I say this? I just don't see him tearing it up somewhere. I you really don't. don't. Okay. No, I don't. I and the reason why is because I think that he's too one dimensional, and and managers will know that. Like he's great. Don't get me wrong. He's a great talent, a great player. But I don't think he's he's Vinny Junior level. You know, no, he'll, we've no. He, about if he was Vinny Junior well. level, he would be there by now. Right, 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 and right. And we talked about you know Pedro Neto coming in as a backup, but in some cases Pedro Neto's better. Yeah. In, 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 at times, right. At, um, you know, and, and like Paul says, if, I think he's talking about soccer. If he went to Italy, yeah, he'd go crazy because he'd be annihilating those fullbacks because Italy doesn't have the pace and power. But I just, I don't know if he's, I don't, like, I'm not going to say that if he goes to Liverpool, he's going to score, you know, 25 goals a season. I think you get the same soccer. I really do. I think the way he plays is just so ingrained of how he is. I mean, there's times I thought about, well, fuck, put him in central mid. Yeah, the four two three one put him in the ten roll. I, I mean, I know that sounds crazy to some, but I just you know, as a winger, he gets locked up. Once he's double teamed, it's done. He tried to find his way through the double teams, and he uh, what happened? Nothing. He got one shot that was well, it was it was slightly close, but it wasn't a goal. And this thing that all players when they leave here become stars—that's not always true. Uh, uh-uh. you know, it's just not. Um, I mean, you can. I mean, look, Jack had to go to Bayer Leverkusen, who had a fairy tale. Well, Alexis season. Sanchez, a sex, Alexis Sanchez left, and he, he and he, his star dimmed after that. Right, he went to United, was eating fucking lunch alone. Yeah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> he never fit into that United team. He wanted to come back to Arsenal, you know, 
And so, I mean, there's something to be said for, you know, maybe his next season's the cash-in time or the season after that because I know he has a five-year contract. But it's going to cost a lot of money to get him out, and it's cost a lot of money to keep us keep him in. Um, yeah, I just – I don't know. I, I, I don't want to fall under that, oh, they're going to go be world-class when they're outside of Arsenal because that is not always the truth. No, you know, true. that's just not always the truth. I mean, if he goes to Liverpool or, God forbid, Chelsea – which I don't think he'd ever go to. But, I mean, Liverpool and City would be, I think, the real two after him. Maybe a couple teams in Europe, but I don't know, man. It's just today he just was not good. No, I agree with you 100%. I expect more. Me too. Kai Havertz. Mm. Um, He can hold a two as well, in my opinion. He can hold a two too. He's not fast enough. So the so if you're if you're gonna try bringing balls over the top, number one, make sure he's on side. Number two, um, make sure that your striker is fast enough to actually get to the ball. Um, he had two chances, I think one of which was actually on side, where he didn't get absolutely eaten up by Paul Torres or Diego Carl Diego Carlos. Um, I. Yeah, exactly. Made some nice runs from in deep, but how many of those runs was he actually going to be able to realistically make and and get something from? Um, I I just think he's he's not good enough for the position, and we overpaid for him, and now we're going to see the results, and we are going to reap the 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 punishment from that. In my opinion, I just don't think he's good enough. Um, he, he has certain purple patches, but again, people forget who he was actually getting those purple patches against. You know what, Kai, thank you so much for getting us six points against Brentford. But other than that, what has he realistically done? Yeah, he gets a two for me. What do you think, Dal? I think that this is the sword our is going to land on or fall yeah. on. Um, you bring in a $65 million player, you play him in three different positions. And you wonder why he's not good at any of them? I'm putting him on the sell him now list, bro. For me, I mean, you don't have to do that. I mean, he's your rating, but how about this? I how about this? How about this? Mine, we'll we'll land on minus ten thousand. There we go. We'll give Jermino his, uh, <laughs> his props there. Yeah, I mean, this, he's just he's he's a project player. And you no, know? and here's the thing. Here's, here's, like, here's, here's the thing. Sorry, sorry, not to interrupt you, but Gunnar Er. I'm not saying that he's the issue. I'm not saying that he's the issue. I'm saying that when we have needed somebody to make a play at the number nine position, he's he's maybe there 20% of the time, which is not good enough. Not good enough. So, yeah. sorry, go ahead. In the box, that ball bounces up. That gives you all the leverage with your right foot to just put your strings through it and bury it instead of touching it getting it down, right, which he tried to do. And it's just kind of that IQ where, you know, someone like Robin Van Persie, I can go back to a game he played against Charlton, many of you probably saw, where he just rushed in front of the defender and flew and absolutely just fucking buried one in, uh, I think it was Middleborough, Charlton, back to Charlton's net. This was many years ago, of course. Yeah. But it's that kind of instinct that we need that Kai Havertz just doesn't have as a striker. And a left midfield, he's lost. He doesn't know where to fucking go. <laughs> it's a left yeah. mid. He doesn't know where to be positionally. He doesn't know whether to press or pull back. And again, it just plays them into the opponent's hands because we have Zinchenko on the left who's in the middle where Kai Havertz should be. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, he's... He, I think Arteta saw a deal. He thought like, oh, if Chelsea paid ninety-two million, we get him for sixty-five. We struck a deal, right? And it turns out that no, struck a deal. We wasted sixty-five mil on someone who had, is not a proven Premier League player. One Champions no, League goal off a fast break in a Champions League does not make you a complete player, you know. And you're right; it's a purple patch. Jaminio said it for weeks. Luke Carl Rossi said it. Jez has said it. Many others have said that it's kind of just a, a purple patch he's going through. You know, I just, 
you know, and I'm not going to slay Havertz today because there was some points where he, he he was trying, but bro, you've got to just kill the ball. Let's shoot it. If you miss, you miss, but you can't just on a fast break when you come, you see him flying through there, his long leg, just get ready to just to fucking nail that ball. And then he stops and he touches it. He dribbles it to the left and then he loses it. It's like, just put your foot through it, bro. Yep. Frustrating, no, frustrating player to watch today. It's it, I mean, it, it was very, very sorry, frustrating. He's frustrating every game, even but, though the Brentford game, let's be honest, he scored the header with the 85th minute. Yeah. Yeah. Frustrating player to watch. <laughs> I couldn't agree more, time. bro. Oh. I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. AJ says Hansi Flick before, now before he gets the Myron Munich job back. And right. here's the thing, and, and and I just want to address this really, really quick because people in the chat are being – by the way, everybody in this chat watching on playback, you're absolute legends. Make sure you're smashing the likes. Make sure you're subscribing. Subscribe to Oregon Goon as well. Subscribe to CMO Sports. We are – yeah, we're uh, we're in mourning right now, honestly. Yeah. But um, what was what was there was there was a comment back here. Hold on, one second, one second, one second. Let me find it. Um, maybe I'm not. May I don't know. I can't find it now. No, no, let me, no. There it is. There it is. There it is. Netweed. I mean, I can only hope Josh questions his own choice now. Is second really really that fun? I have a spoiler alert for you, Netweed. Josh doesn't care. Oh. Josh only cares about winning trophies in the United States because Josh doesn't understand anything outside of the United States other than being in the black or being in the red. This club is putting him in the black. This club makes him money. Oh. Okay? He does not care. He does not care. And as long as everybody in the, every fan base, every fan in this club gives a shit about keeping Mar uh, keeping Mikel Arteta in the in the position that he's in, or or not buying certain players that Mikel wants that he think he can actually get a tune out of, he's not gonna care. Like, sorry, he's not. He's not. Right, especially, right, especially now that we're getting towards the end of the NBA season, they're more focused on Denver Nuggets than anything. Yeah, no, they're focused right on now. the Avalanche. They're focused on the Nuggets. Both of them are going to the playoffs. So, mm. like, and by the way, we may be doing some watch-alongs for the Avalanche on this channel. Just saying. Uh, all I'm saying, like, all, all I'm saying is, is look, guys, like, like I, I hate to be the American, the American Santa isn't real guy, but the the Cronkies, as long as they have owned this club, don't really care about winning major honors. They care about the dollars. And sense it's all they care about, right? They'll, like, they'll make the club competitive, like they want to compete, but it's I, I believe that too. It's not their their main mission is not to win trophies, it's to turn a profit for sure. Yep. And, and, and they'll do, I mean, I think you know, they, they, they own the club for a reason, they see value in the club, they represent, of course, know, they, represent, they like what the club represents and values and the, the classy arsenal and all that BS. Um, but. Yeah, but no, again, not buying players in January. I, you know, who makes that call? It's fucking Arteta. Yep. Oh, we don't. Oh no, no. Oh, we couldn't get the player we wanted for a hundred mil. So let's just not get anyone. Like that makes no sense to me. When well, you know, there's midfielders out there that are available in January that would that would be decent. You know, that we could probably get a nice a nice you know package for with you know maybe forty five or fifty mil. And I'm not, you know, I don't know where we are in FFP rules, and no one does. So I don't want any fan telling me, oh, we're ten thousand dollars or ten million away from breaking FFP rules. Nobody fucking knows that, but the accountants <laughs> at KSG, right? Let's be real. No one knows that, but the accounting department at KSG. Okay. True. Second of all, again, we're shooting ourselves in the foot when you don't buy talent in January. Like we could have shipped El Nini out. We could have loaned out Vieira. How do you know there's no more money, ER? I mean, I no, he doesn't I, I want any more money going to our. He doesn't want any oh, money that, going to that our. That makes there. sense. That makes sense. Bobby Wood Jr. would have been better than Paul. Are you Paul? You're from <laughs> Kansas City. I I I know you're from Kansas City. I think you messaged me, bro. Yeah, I'll, I'll message you back on Instagram. Yeah, no, I got the season tickets to the Casey Curran. I think this guy does too. Paul, yeah, I would dig Lamar Hunt from his grave in place of Havertz right now. <laughs> That's a little bit extreme. <laughs> anyway. 
happy. No, I'm just saying that <laughs> that's a little weird. No, that, that that's you know, at the end of the day, it's not the coffee's fault we didn't score today, you know. But it, I do blame him for not bringing in players. And damn you, Stevo, the stars did not align today. I knew that was coming in. You big know, up Tony like, Claude. Big up Strasburg Steve for the happen. super chat. Um, yeah. Uh, no, they're not. This is the shittiest <laughs> constellation I've ever seen. They're All right, Dal, I got to Dal, I got to get out of here pretty soon. Right, so let's sorry, let's, let's tear through these real quick. Let's tear through these. All right. Um, Tamiyasu, what do you give him? I uh, fucking sell. Sell him. Yes. Dang, we're we're going in hard. Okay. Um yeah, I'm not even gonna ask you why. We'll, we'll just keep it there. We'll just yeah, keep it there's, there. There's seven or eight players I want out, and he's average. So all right, there you go. go. Okay, okay, okay. Um what who else we got in here? Martinelli. Um one. I'll give him he didn't – yeah, you know what? I'm giving him a one, too, because he frustrated me. Watching him out there. He, 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 why can't he – head up. Head up. Look. Yeah, head up. It's our tennis What fault. is so hard about that? Head up. Look, dude, when I when I played hockey, literally you, 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 you stick puck. You are looking constantly. You are not looking at the ball. You are not looking at the puck. You're not looking at anything. Yeah, Martinelli. One, like that's fine. That's totally fine. Yeah, Given straps, like, and I agree. I agree. He did. He wasn't given much chance, but yeah, Martinelli not. has not changed his game at all. He's a speed merchant on the right, on the left side. And look, he had a great season last season, but this season he has not been the best. He's, He's not been the striker. best. And in the context of this game, we needed somebody who would come on and be an impact sub. He was not that guy. He wasn't. Right, and he never has been. Let's be honest. I can't. I, I. He's the Man City game that he scored. I think he started. I don't think he's ever come on and been an impact sub. You know, and 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 now Martinelli, unfortunately, to me, and I know you got to get here. Don't keep going. No, it's no, no, it's totally fine. It's totally fine. Martinelli to me has more potential than Saka, and I know that sounds crazy. And it's not because he's Brazilian or any of that shit. It's just because there's a relentlessness with Martinelli that I don't believe Saka has. Martinelli will start a game and finish it to the end. But I just – and I agree this season it wasn't happening. Last season, why is he pummeled 15, 16 goals in last season? No idea. You know, and, and Paul's got a point. Martinelli and Mudrick are kind of the same. But I just think Martinelli's just, a, you know, obviously has that, you know, that saucyness about him with, with, with the Brazilian background and the coaching. To me, he's a striker, bro. He's a striker. He, he keep him up front. And I know we haven't always had the best results with him up front, but if you're going to put Trossard up front and Havertz up front, again, he's one of the only four attackers besides Saka that he hasn't rotated much around. He's played on the right twice this season. That's it. True. He hasn't played up front. If he did, it was for a short time against Luton, I think it was. But that was just because of a substitution rotation. I think he's worth keeping. He's having a shit season. He's still one of my favorite players, and I, yeah, he was crap today. <laughs> Who's next? Dude, I'm so exhausted. Sorry. Um, I'm like so exhausted. I'm 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 laughing at this point. Um, Jesus Christ. Um, Emil Smith Rowe. Two. Dude, you throw a player. You you made this point earlier. Um, you you throw this player who you have not given a shot into this position and expect him to do anything. Right. Like that's that's so unfair to the player. No, I agree with him. I mean, there's not really anything he can do. There's really not anything he can do. So well, yeah, I mean, I mean, too. But I don't necessarily blame him for it. I don't know. He couldn't do anything. No. Yeah. Well, he, you also put him on the sell list. Because I think his time's kind of up. Yeah. No, I think I, I I don't think the manager rates him, but I'm not gonna put him I'm not gonna put him on the sell list just because I feel like the sell list at this point is just like for people we really, really don't people, want people yeah. people really yeah. we really don't want. I get two because you're right. Given the circumstances that he was thrown in, and that's happened a few times to him now, right. Maybe a two's a bit unselfish, but 
It's, it's selfish. I, I've got to rate the performance, though, dude. It's like as a footballer, sometimes you are brought on late. That's just the way it goes. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. that's part of being in the in the team is that, yeah, you're not always going to be in the 11 and you're, you're brought on when needed. But it seems like you could have brought him off and brought him on at halftime for Havertz. I agree with that. And, and move, De- you know, and, and keep Declan Rice at the six or put Declan Rice in the six and bring Jorginho in, which I didn't think he was even going to see a minute today because he – He's dusted. His legs are done. We saw it against Bayern Munich. Yep. He can't play consistent, intense games. So the subbing was all shit all the way around. Yeah. I well, Yeah, I don't even have the words right now. I'm so pissed off. Um, all right, la- last... Uh, oh no, we got Jorginho. I don't even care, Jorginho. Sorry, I'll give him a one. Like, where was he for the second goal? Yep, one. Yeah, yeah that's I'm, the, I'm, I'm, the ER. I don't think they're gonna dump the manager before they dump players. Yeah, you know that's the thing. They're not. Arteta's in there for a while, you guys. Yeah, Arteta's not going anywhere, guys. Like, sorry again. Like, like he's chums with the brass. He's literally sitting in boxes in Denver, Colorado, watching Colorado Avalanche and Denver Nuggets games, talking about how he can generate the most profit for the for the ownership. Like this is not this is not anything that's going away. Josh loves him. Fact. Agree. Yeah. Like it, it, it's just the way it is. Like literally, I will turn on a Colorado Avalanche game, guys, and I will and if it is during an international break, I will see Josh Kroenke in an executive box talking to Mikel Arteta. We, we, he is in the U S talking to these guys. Yeah. So yeah. Anyway. All right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Um, I think the last on this list and a list and thank God is Eddie and Kedia. And I'm just, yeah, no, no, no comment. Like why, 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 why even bother? Send this guy, send this guy to freaking Queens park Rangers or Leeds, send him back to Leeds somewhere else where he can actually get some playing time. The, the guy, the guy is collecting a paycheck here. That's all he's doing. He wears the number fourteen shirt. It's disgusting, bro. And you know, another move we could have made in January, but if they're too. Are they too nervous? Like, why are they nervous to get sell players? You line someone up, you sell the one you are, and then you get the one you lined up in. I don't even think they want him. Like, that's the thing is that who are we going to sell this guy? Who are we going to sell? We're going to have to buy it. This is another, Dow, this is another contract that we're going to have to buy out. Maybe. You know that. Yeah. Oh, my God. All right. Well, all right. I'm I'm not even going to bother putting Mikel Arteta up there. I'm just going to stop sharing. (laughs) Who was your man of the match? Ben White? For for Arsenal? Yeah. Odegaard. Ben White was the player? Odegaard. Odegaard. I thought Odegaard yeah. was the best. And the fact that he got subbed off was basically us waving the white flag, saying that we we're going to accept the point or we're going to lose. What do you got? Yeah, I mean, I think he pressed the best. Um, I thought Ben White was all right. Um but yeah, I don't know what's going on with Gabriel and Saliba. It's just, it's it's like, are they asleep? Are they not? Commu- I think it's just they're not communicating at times, and they're res- thinking the other. They're putting the li- the reliability on one, on the other one. You know what I mean? They're expecting the other one to do things that, you know, they're not always in position on the pitch to do. It's it's waiting. It's like the players were waiting for other players to react. Catch other players to make actual decisions like everybody's right. looking at another person to make a decision and right. and honestly like a winning team doesn't do that we we need we need a team full of killers and a team full of people that are going to try to take responsibility and nobody took responsibility today sure. and i think and that's the just- biggest and I, I think that's the biggest thing i think that's the biggest fault and honestly guys like look i'm going to start ending the stream here because yes i do need to catch some sun like sat like staffy tv is saying here big up staffy every time go and subscribe if you haven't already 
Um, but yeah, I mean, you have a team full of Howards today. And that's it. Yeah. That's and all I got to say. I agree with Chris. We played great in the first half. We did. But when things don't, you know, aren't going our way, what do we do? We kind of sat back in the second half and were reactive to what they were doing. Yep. No, one hundred percent. One hundred percent. Looks like Staffy's gonna get you. <laughs> no, sta- no, no, no. And Staffy wants me going outside and catching some sun and catching some Z's because he wants me on American Waffle later. Um. Right. Okay. Big up everybody in the chat that's watched this again. Big up Dal. Thank you again. Great, great show. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't under better circumstances. Let me check out who's live so we can redirect. But give up, give up, um, give us a uh, an outro here, Dal. Shout yourself out, my friend. Um, thanks everyone for being here today. See a lot of familiar names in the chat and a few new ones. Um, what an awful performance in the second half by Arsenal Football Club. First half, I'll say. We looked good. We were on the press. We should have been three or four nil up. Um, I'm just not I'm like you, TJ. I'm not looking forward to the next six games, especially after the list of teams that you read off the city have compared to what we have. And they have a much easier run, much, much, much easier run than we have, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Um, and I said before that the city game was the only game we could draw at the end of the season. Winning the rest, right? Well, that didn't happen. So, yeah, well, we go against Bayern Munich. There's not much else to say that, you know, we haven't already covered. Yep. But, no, fair um, enough. North London is still red. Um, London is blue. And thanks. Great job, TJ, for the show. And I will be seeing you. And I'm a poet and didn't even know it. No, check, check it out. <laughs> <laughs> thanks everyone for joining us today. It was a, sh- a shit second half, uh, but thanks for being here, hanging out with TJ and I. It was fun. Another great show. Another decent match reaction. I agree. No one deserved over a six today. Yep. All right. Yep. And we're going to redirect over to Northside. Uh, he is hosting a panel. I might try to get on it. Who knows? I might. I might just tell Staffy to f off, and I'm just going to go over there and yell at, on Northside's channel. Who knows? Um, but uh-huh. yeah, we get. But thank you to everybody who watched um, the watch long and the match reaction. Really, really appreciate it. Take care, everybody. Go over to Northside and say TJ Warren TV raid. Um, I will be back live probably on Staffy's channel tonight. Um, look for me on Sarcasm City in the next couple of days, and then obviously we will be live again after the Bayern Munich game. Until next time, um, Arsenal 0, Aston Villa 2, and we will catch you next time.